Coach, uh, obviously, uh, any win is a good win, and certainly you guys have played a really well at different stretches here tonight. Your overall thoughts on uh, how things went? <clears throat> you know, we knew coming into this game it wasn't going to be easy. Obviously, you get to this point of the year, um, Southwest Valley, you know, they play in a tough conference. They've, they've uh, competed hard. Um, they've a couple similar opponents uh, with the Sydney and the Stanton, so we knew we'd have to come out and, and play well. We wouldn't just be able to show up and, and get through it. So I'm um, really proud of the kids' efforts and the way they played uh, def on the defensive end especially, and we hit enough shots to, to give us, uh, ourselves a chance to win. Trying to navigate through the foul trouble with Emily, obviously you know, trying to find your spots to get her in, but when she wasn't in, Maya was, uh, Maya, she was everything tonight. Yeah, yeah, she's huge. You know, she's a floor general. She does it. She's an extremely smart basketball player. Defensively, you know, um, it seems like she's getting out of positions at times, but she's getting out of position for a reason because she sees plays developing and happening. Um, so she does a great job of that for us, and, and she just runs the show and, and does a good job of distributing the basketball and can hit shots when she needs to, and she played extremely well tonight. You were 6-13 and 13 last year, 14-6 and six now this year. You've got a bunch of freshmen. I mean, obviously you want great things for your seniors like Alex, but, uh, man, this is – got to be feeling pretty good of the direction of this program. Uh, absolutely. You know, they've come in and done a, done a great job for us, all of them. They, they love basketball. They love playing. They practice hard. Um, it's nice to have a, a squad that has really – I feel like we've really come together and we're gelling really well, um, and they're, they're playing like it, so it's exciting basketball. St. Albert uh, is going to be the opponent next week. Obviously, I'm sure you've had a look at them. Certainly, they've played a tough schedule. You mentioned how Southwest Valley has played at a tough conference. St. Albert's played in a pretty tough conference themselves. What, 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 do, you, what do you think it'll take? Uh, we're going to have to show up to practice tomorrow, uh, obviously watch some more film on them, and we're going to have to play our very best game that we've, that we've played this year to, give us our, to even have a shot to play. Um, you know, we've, had, we've had a good year so far, and um, you, know, you don't get a chance to, to win games like that. Um, unless you show up. So we've got to show up and play well. We've got to have a good, good mindset, good attitude. And we know we've know we got our hands full. Um, we're aware of that, but uh, that's why you play. Coach, thanks. Great job. Thank you very much. Urban, the uh, standout tonight here for East Mills. Fantastic game for you and for your team. First of all, your, kind of your thoughts on kind of how the team played as a whole. What were your thoughts on tonight's game? Um, it's the most we've ever talked in our 1-2-2. Two, two. Um, we went in tonight knowing that we'd have to talk because they, ha they were a lot, obviously taller than us. So we knew we had to talk a lot. Great job uh, communicating. Tell me about you. Uh, you know, Emily goes out, so maybe things go a little more on your shoulders and Alex's shoulders, and you able, able to step up. What were your what, 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 what changed there a little bit when Emily goes out for you? Uh, Hannah's got to step up. I just, I just think you got to get open cuts, and I have to be confident. I have to be more confident and willing to drive at the basket. You had uh, some nosebleeds there early, too. <laughs> well, tell me about, uh, sometimes, you know, you're so focused and then that comes and maybe you can lose your focus, but that didn't happen for you. Well, I've never had a nosebleed in my life, so that was, that was a first. First nosebleed, how? That was amazing. Uh, what are your thoughts on this next matchup with St. Albert? I'm sure you know a little bit about them. So what are your thoughts on maybe how you'll try to attack that? Um, well, it's going to be tough, so I think we have to get out in transition and rebound offensively better than we did tonight. Coming into this year, um, you probably knew about your freshman class, obviously, because you're in the freshman class. Did you expect you guys would have this much success? No, 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 not at all. How did it come about? Um, when we were lost, when we lost to Stanton by one, I knew that it was going to be something this year. 14 and six, heading into a quarterfinal. Congratulations, great job. Thank you.